Ah, get my steel on strap. I got some perf. And then underneath is a sheet of uh, solid. And then some channel. And uh, we'll go back to the harvester and I'll show you how I plan on using them. Uh, Amazon haul. Amazon haul and unboxing. My panties have not shown up yet, but another fun project showed up. This showed up. It is awesome on what you can get off of Amazon nowadays. This is a old John Deere loader to skid steer quick attach. I was going to build all this from scratch because I've got the shaft and the DOM. You know, right there's the, here's the DOM and the shafting is here and I got a bunch of it. Um, here's a nice two inch if you need a keyed two inch. So I was going to build all that from scratch, but by the time you do the math of going to get the steel, your time spent making it, that, that's the biggest thing, your time at making it, um, yeah, for not much money, got this puppy off of Amazon, Whoop, and uh, we actually have a bunch of Amazon credit because we use our Amazon card a lot. So the brackets will sit something like that. It was made for the old John Deere quick attach that came up, cup there, and then a plate, flat plate, and you just put it, dropped a safety pin, a hairpin, through them pins. Um, so depending where our loader comes up, I might not have to torch any of that stuff off. So that would be nice, and then I got a couple of mounting plates to weld on the back of the bucket and the back of the pallet fork. So then we'll be universal with skid steers, and hopefully that will work out good, because what's happened... In a, an emergency, I welded this up quick, and it's worked fine. It's moved a lot of bales, and it's moved a, a lot of manure, and it's, it's done a lot of bucket work. But how it mounts to the back of the bucket, the bucket was already starting to fail, um, and so how it mounts on the back of the bucket only made that worse, and it's not the most convenient. So... By changing everything over to skid steer, then uh, we'll be that much better, I think. So that, that'll be a nice project, nice upgrade too. In the meantime, let's go look at the harvester. Grabbed a couple 30-gallon drums, hoping, uh, hoping I can just use them to work off of just a tiny piece, you know, a little bit smaller than uh, two and a half by. Uh, by roughly two and a half by two and a half let's just say for the sake of argument for a square piece and then just notch out for that auger um, so yeah should let's see how we do but hopefully the drums you know maybe a guy can work off the drums guys the unloader's in can't forget my pickaxe I'm trying to get all my tools out of here and uh, yeah so the floor isn't like swept a hundred percent clean but it's good enough to get corn in here it's a little bit of dry stuff on the ground it isn't gonna cause rotting and spoilage that's not a big concern I have Next summer when it's warm, we can finish pulling up the steel plate or get the correct floor because I won't have a floor in here. Um, as soon as I get that front plate made, some channels in, hook the blower pipe up, we're filling. Well, if it gets warm enough to combine, um, we are filling. And so that uh, next summer we'll worry about that tore up steel and, and getting the proper floor in here so we can use the sweep arm and whatnot. And so, but hey, it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's get going. So what we got here is uh, we're, we're 30 and a half by 27 and a half. You got all these bolt holes, boom, 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 down both sides, up that side. So what we're gonna do is take a sheet of perf and fit it over the unload tube and fit to that panel. Then we're gonna weld some angle iron on that and uh, to, to make a lift. 
and then we're going to weld a solid sheet to it so you go of the exact same shapes so we're making a sandwich base and making an air chamber so perf will go against the corn solid will be against out here and then the fan will bolt to that and that will be our transition piece so the fan will literally just be sitting right here somehow some way whether it's at an angle to kick the motor up or or it's up and down whatever um but then air goes in all of that shape down at the bottom maybe a guy might just have to put in some uh, tar roofing tar like you know, the silos always get sealed up with roof tar down in them corners or, or fit a little piece of sheet metal to fit that bottom radius down there but uh yeah that's that's simple that's simple talk about the channel iron in the door opening above the auger there's some some irons on the side of the door opening and that channel will go from one side to the other to the door and the weight of the grain loads against some channel irons and not against our door or the perforated material um, so then then when it comes time for unloading you know obviously you empty from the center the whole way down when it's when the center runs empty you crank open the outside door it empties the pile in front of the door then you take the fan and the transition off and climb in with the grain vac and clean it up.